Hey you guys, welcome back to the next horoscope. Today we're looking at the energy of the week of August the 29th through September the 4th. I'm going to pull an overall energy card for the week. Then we're going to get the message and then we're going to look at the way that that energy is playing out for all of the human design types. So starting the week off, I see an energy of um, worry, worry about, um, it's like you're worrying about not having enough of something. Um, and I feel like um, I'm already kind of relating to this energy. So um, for me personally, it's something that is a a long standing i don't want to call it a battle but um a long standing um thing that i have noticed that i have been um working on releasing is fears of you know not having enough of something so it could be time it could be money it could be health it could be um resources you know like a specific resource besides just money um, but you're starting out the week worrying about whether or not there is enough, feeling like there isn't enough. And there, it's like the message is that spirit is flowing what you need as you need it. So when you check for it, if you're checking for it ahead of time, that's what you're going to see, that it's not there. And then you're going to go into the situation worrying about whether or not you're going to be able to figure out how to get it, right? And so in that energy, you're not going to see it when it comes in because you're not looking for it to show up. You're looking for how you can force it to, to be, you know, what you can do. Um, how you can will it to to go the way that you want it to go without factoring in spirit and the help that you have on your side the the what 
Abraham Hicks calls leverage of, you know, the, the help of your guides in your universe that is lining things up for you, right? And so with our overall energy card being about focus, um, the wizard of the wood, it's like the, the intelligence, the overall knowing behind the scenes, right? The, the wizard of Oz, right? <laughs> it's that, that knowing behind the scenes that it might not be there when you check for it, but it's there when you need, it's there as you need it. It's there at the time that you need it, right? So, um, if you are able to shift your focus and raise your vibration to one of gratitude, to one of abundance, to one of looking at what is working, then you, by the end of the week, you see everything line up. And I actually feel like this is one of those situations where everything lines up in such a way that you know it couldn't have been anybody else but spirit. Like it's one of those spirit doing somersaults in order to impress you and show you how much you are loved kind of situations. And so this energy, living in this energy to start out the contrast between this and the energy of the love and the support and, and having enough, having exactly what you need is what creates that amazing feeling. If you look at the way that this woman is is feeling she's being embraced by you know the the light the spirit the the highest power right so um that's what i'm seeing overall so now we're going to look at each of the design types for our generators is likely one tied to responsibility. So either you are um, 
in fear of someone else forcing you to take responsibility for something that they've done or that they didn't do. And um, you're going to have to jump in and save the day and, and panic and work extra and what have you in order to, to bridge the gap and, and make things flow again, right? Or it's a situation where you are terrified of being the person who has to take responsibility and step up and say, okay, look, this needs to go here. This needs to be there. We need to take care of this before Friday, blah, 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 right? So however that tends to come up for you, however you have dealt with it recently, um, it's probably what is, you know, the momentum that you have going that's going to continue around responsibility, what you need to get taken care of, what someone is relying on you to take care of, or what you are expecting someone else to take care of, but not believing that they will. All right, for the manifesting generators, ooh, okay. So this gate usually has to do with the energy of collecting the stories of other people and holding them in order to um, utilize them later to help someone else, right? But... Um, Using these cards as oracles for the energy of the week, what I'm seeing is a disconnect between you and spirit. It's as if you have been instructed or told to do something and you didn't, you didn't listen. And so that is what puts you into this energy of, oh my God, there's not enough. You know, we're not, we're not going to make it like by Friday, everything is going to be, you know, all messed up. This is, you know, we're heading towards a shit show, right? But, um, as you know, tuning your focus, um, raising your vibration, um, basically the energy of what we experienced on the staff retreat, um, this month. Um, one of our staff members was in a position where it's like, uh oh, you know, I do not have a steady job anymore. I'm, you know, not going to be working where I've been used to working anymore. So there's not going to be enough, you know. And instead of sitting in the energy of lack and fear and worry, she went on the retreat and we played, you know, we raised our vibration and in that energy she was able to attract her next thing you know so um we can look at this either way like say for instance she was going to get that opportunity either way right that time spent <laughs> in between being told she's getting let go and being offered another job at a different position all of that time she's manifesting from whatever energy she's sitting in, right? So that whole span of time, she could have stayed in that energy of dread and worry and manifested more dread and worry. So even when offered the new job, she would have still been in a mentality and an energy of dread and worry. And it may not have felt like the right thing to do. It may not have felt like enough. It may have felt like, you know, but then she she may have gone far enough down a rabbit hole to where she convinced herself that she needed to be, you know, going to school in a completely different industry or, you know, something like that. So literally the way that you tune your focus determines where you are when things come in, which determines your outcomes. It determines what you feel is available to you. So for our manifestors, ooh, okay. And I feel this is kind of, it's kind of on the, the, the responsibility tip. It's one of those positions where you have been, uh, thrown <laughs> into the position of leader. You may not have stepped up and been like, yeah, I know how to handle this. I got this, guys. Let's do this. You know, it may have been a situation where you're, you know, sitting in the back of the room having your lunch, you know, <laughs> and everyone looks to you like help, you know. And you've got that that energy of I'm not enough. I don't know enough. I don't 
um, I, I'm not ready for this, you know, but spirit is there showing you what you need as you need it. And instead of feeling confident in that, you're still worrying and feeling like, oh, they're going to find out I'm a fraud. They're going to find out I don't know. Someone's going to ask me something I can't answer. Like this is, this is all bad, you know? Meanwhile, spirits has your back the whole time. Like you haven't been in that position once, but you're, you're, you're anticipating it. You're expecting it. Right. So seeing this message <laughs> is your opportunity to kind of zoom out and really take inventory. Like, is this really a situation where I'm in over my head or do I just feel like I'm in over my head because I haven't done this before? And I feel like, you know, I, I haven't had the, the extra time. You know, I, I feel like there's a lack of time here and. I actually know what I need to know in order to help people right now, you know, literally being one step ahead of the people that need your help the whole time, instead of feeling like you need to be 10 steps ahead so that you can confidently say, oh, this is how it goes, guys, you know, um, either way, you can still lead them. Leading from next to someone, you can still lead them if you are in a calmer, a higher vibration, right? All right, so for projectors, ooh, this is going to have to do with money. So you're going into the week with a probably like a sudden expense um, or something to that effect. I'm hoping it's not, you know, a situation where someone stole from you or something like that, but whatever it is, it's an unexpected thing that happens that throws you instantly into this energy of not enoughness, <laughs> of lack. Um, and for projectors, it's specifically having to do with money. You're worried about something that's coming up. Maybe it's rent. Um, it is, you know, well, the first is on Wednesday, you know, it could, it could be rent, you know, most places you have a, a little bit of a grace period. So if you're able to, you know, figure it out by Saturday, you might still be all right. You know, the, the company probably gets you a little weird. Your landlord might have a little, you know, um, feelings about that, but, um, we can't control spirits time, you know? So um, what this is saying is there is something already lined up or lining up at the time of you seeing this message that's going to help with this situation that you're dealing with financially. You're, you're going to see your answer. You're going to see this fourth cup come in. But if you're not focused in the right way, you're going to miss it. Like she's missing it, you know, she's not paying attention and there's all kinds of cool stuff happening with this cup. Right. But, um, yeah, tune your focus towards what you do want, what you're looking for, what it, what, what you actually need right now, you know? So, um, Say, for instance, it was something that got stolen. Your your laptop gets stolen, right? And there were things on that laptop that you needed that throw you into that feeling of lack. Oh, my goodness. Like, my whole life was on my laptop. What do I do, right? But your whole life isn't on the laptop. You're still alive. The laptop is gone and you're still alive. Therefore, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like there there are, are things that you can still do. There are ways around this. And once you focus in that way, you'll start to realize all the things that you can still access, can still do, you know, with your um, your accounts with, you know what I'm saying? Like the things that you do still have that live in a cloud or on the internet somewhere and not necessarily in that hard drive that you can still access and work around, right? In order to um, get to a place where you you feel like you're not missing anything anymore or, or like you're gonna be okay, right? So, no, you're not going to suddenly get all the files that were on the computer, you know, 
No one's going to, you know, suddenly come bring the computer back and be like, oh, my bad, I grabbed the wrong one. It's gone. So if it's gone, you know, so this is a um, opportunity to practice intentionally shifting your focus in order to control your outcome in a way that you've never done before. Because in the past, you felt like you had to be influenced by what was happening in front of you. You had no choice. But now on this level, in this area, in this place, well, if you've gotten to the place to where you're actually watching this type of a reading on this level, you are ready to um, control your own focus intentionally in order to shift and allow that energy to flow in that is dying to come in like it is it's pushing to come in already and you're blocking it by focusing in the wrong direction All right so for the reflectors oh reflectors got into an argument with someone you had a big disagreement with somebody who you felt you needed you needed their support or you needed their financial help or you needed their expertise. You needed this person and they did something that pissed you off or you just, you know, you got into it for some reason or another. And now you're feeling like you need to um, backpedal, take back what you, you said, lie about how you actually feel in order to get this person, you know, back on board with you. And I feel like this message is saying that's that's not the only option. You know, if, if it requires you to compromise something that's important to you, like your values or, or yeah, your core values, like something that, you know, um, you actually can't compromise your your peace, yourself, your you-ness, right? then it's not the situation for you. There's got to, there's another way around, okay? So even though you can't see it right now, this is not a moment for you to compromise yourself and say, oh, no, I, you know what? You're right, you know? Uh, we, we, we should do the awful thing in order to make the money instead of worrying about our customers. You're right. <laughs> you know, it's like, if that's not really what you feel, if you are a person who cares about the product that you sell and you need it to be, you know, for your conscience in order to sleep at night, you need it to be a good product that's safe and it's not going to harm anyone, you know, and this person is going against that, then there's no whole way that spirit would ever tell you to compromise that in order to, you know, not miss out or not have lack or not be in a bad situation. It's just not, that's not how it works, all right? So shift your focus <laughs> and look to where it is. We know where it's not, so where is it, all right? So this card, like out of every other card that we pulled today, this card is the most important. This is an opportunity for you to transcend a cycle that has been ruining your life. It has been controlling your manifestations your entire life, okay? And this is your opportunity to finally transcend that. If you have questions about it, hit me up. I can help you, you know? If not, then you know what to do. <laughs> I love doing these. I don't know if you noticed, but when you weren't looking, I went and got fancy. That's why we got this little glare here. I've got a different desk now. But um, I will be back here again next week. Um, hopefully, I will be um, posting the September readings next week as well. We will see. I don't know how much time I have. <laughs> but um, I appreciate you. I love you being here. Thank you so much for making it all the way to the end of the video. Please drop me a comment, a like, a subscribe, share all the things, and I would love to see you back here next time. Bye now.